The first instinct that pops into my head on a uh, news item like this is just to scream out, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. You hear about this of uh, Yevgeny Prigozhin uh, being killed in a plane crash outside of Moscow, and immediately the uh, Western press, you know, Biden says it was Putin, the son calls it Putin's revenge. I mean, you know, British media is a joke anyway, but all of the uh, all of the Western outlets are screaming this. In in fact, what is sad for me and interesting is that this is actually how I found out about it. My acknowledgement of uh, Prigozhin's suspected death was from a friend who texted me, said, hey, uh, Putin doesn't uh, mess around, huh? And, you know, this is a friend who was joking, but (laughs) the fact is that the news and that gargantuan lie and twist of the news are presented as one always, and that is how the Western uh, Anglo-Saxon empire maintains its hegemony. It's, it's as important as genocide. It's as important as nuclear war. They are controlling um, people's minds and people's self-awareness so deeply that uh, people might not even be fooled that they would have to look a little deeper. Why? <laughs> Why did Putin do this? Why would it be Putin? What it, what is not? It, this is not a, uh, a, a sock puppet, an autocrat, you know, um, who, who runs Russia in the palm of his hand. As, as, as crazy as it might seem for Westerners, to, to question that uh, impulse. But evil is bad. That's the thing you can use. Evil is bad. Why would he do it? Because he's evil. Because that's the thing you do to your enemies. Evil people do evil things. Well, you know, if you really turn it over, it's what the U.S. does. And they do it all the damn time. They don't care. Imran Khan disappeared, both uh, literally uh, in being, you know, uh, uh, stacked with these ridiculous charges, but also um, from the press. Nope. No media. Nothing. This isn't important. Um, What is important is uh, Putin's psychosis. Right, and so we'll have a panel of, uh, you know, uh, idiot psychologists or whatever, whatever, just, just stupid, so stupid, or, or brilliant, right? Because maybe this is exactly what they want. This is how they got to the point that Karl Rove uh, smugly said, "We create reality, and we uh, respond to reality." that is created by us. We watch people's reaction to it, right? Is that, uh, is that so, so that the, the, the press is useful in this regard, that the population is so well managed, so dumbed down, uh, that they just say it, oh yeah, they hear it, oh yeah. And they don't notice that the Russians were shocked at this. This is not something that helps Russia at all. <laughs> and the, the, the West and Ukraine and uh, the U.S. had print-ready fiction, ready to go. If this happens, we'll just call it Putin's Revenge, and that will be the headline. And the, the trouble is which I think is really important to 
call out for people is um, <laughs> because it's not Ukraine, it's not Prigozhin, it's not Niger, it's not Imran Khan, it's not Pakistan, it's the West's need to control the world. It's Brzezinski's idiot chessboard, which goes all the way back to Mackinder, you know, on, on who controls the homeland. You, Brzezinski is dead, finally, in a, in a uh, blessing to all of humanity, but his obsession, his, um, you know, obsessed Russian-hating ignorance of history lives on in in this grand scheme of the great game and how to corner surround and uh ruin china russia whoever uh gets in our way and this goes back into africa on the same um the same grounds there's no you know uh shady junta in Niger who's ruining the country, which they love to spout. But these, first of all, several of them were trained by the U.S., right, in, in, uh, in their constant attempts to plant uh, spies and, and CIA creations in other governments. And it backfires. And so... These are not, that's that's not the problem in Niger. We nobody they, they they'll talk about this so that no one will talk about Ariba, the French mining company that has been digging and mining the 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 resources and the hopes and the dreams and the future of the Nigerian people for sixty years, and the French government that uses it to profit from debt, profit from other people's hunger, from other people's deprivation. We get rich, they just die. Okay, so why? Why would Putin do this? Why would young Africans rise up against this? Why is it happening this way? Kui bono, to whom the benefit? What makes sense? That is what people need to use as a barometer to react. 